let's start uh, we'll be doing we were doing september 19 paper we'll be doing the third question third and fourth question today theek hai so um second an insurer writes a one year motor insurance policies each policy pays an amount of 10000 if the car insured is damaged or stolen and this has a likelihood of 1% in any policy year the loss to an individual without insurance whose car is damaged or stolen will also be 10000 so um so basically the total damage is 10000 which the company is paying and the probability um is 1% Uh, in a policy year to determine an appropriate premium the insurer has decided to test the range of annual premiums from 90 to 150 with a step of 1 when considering the gain or loss in uh, insurer uses a utility function this is the utility function of the insurer the utility uh, is linear so we can assume insurer's um initial wealth to be zero and the neg and a negative utility is allowable so negative utility is also allowed Cons customers use a log utility function where your uh, this uw of wealth is this so this is the utility function of the policy holders or the consumers each customer has a initial wealth of 20000 including the value of its car which is the which is of 10000 calculate the expected utility at the end of the year of an individual without an insurance so uh, how do we do this basically very simple uh, without an insurance i have 20000 right now if uh, there is a loss uh, then there will be a loss of basically uh, 10000 i will be left with only 10000 and the probability of loss is um, 1% ठीक है so we can take out a uh, wealth they are asking us to take out the expected utility so first we can take out the uh, wealth if there is no loss wealth if there is a loss and then we can uh, use the log function to calculate okay chalo let's do it and probabilities as well i'll open the spreadsheet i don't uh, need this so i can just quickly make Our own. So we have the loss value, which is ten uh, thousand. We have initial wealth of twenty thousand. Probability of loss is zero point one nine. It was how much? One. percent 1 percent theek hai uh this is given so um wealth level let me put it this way wealth level if there is no accident or there is the there are multiple reasons of loss so no loss will be 20000 itself if after a loss will be this 20 minus 10 so what is the expected utility this is the answer um log of 20000 with the probability of 1 minus 1% plus log of 10000 with a probability of 1% so this is the answer you all can check quickly this is the answer theek hai very easy next is calculate the range of premiums so they have mentioned premiums from 90 to 150 expected utility at the end of the year 
for a customer with insurance so a customer who takes up the insurance um i am starting with an initial wealth of 20000 i will pay a initial premium and after that if there is a loss i have nothing to bear because whatever the 10000 i'll be getting it from the um insurer uh, in, from the insurer right from the insurance company so this is uh, when there is no insurance theek hai yahi pe we can calculate with insurance wala so obviously in exam you have different sheet to make ha huh, tell me uh so i can quickly use this auto fill fill feature if you all know how to use this it's very easy you just need to click, click on the series and you have to go um in column linear step value is 1 and stop value needs to be 150 bola na inhone um 92 150 up just click on okay तो अभी देखो 150 तक आ गया ठीक है सो दिस इज योर प्रीमियम देन यहां पे ना विथ क्लेम एंड विदाउट क्लेम सॉरी विथ नो क्लेम एंड इफ देर इज अ क्लेम आपका आंसर सेम आएगा ठीक है तो यहां पे योर वेल्थ विथ और विदाउट क्लेम जैसे हमने यहां पे ऐसे लिखा ना कि विथ नो लॉस और विथ लॉस तो आप लिख सकते हो विथ लॉस या फिर क्योंकि इस, इसने इंश्योरेंस ले लिया तो आप क्लेम वर्ड भी यूज कर सकते हो सो दिस विल बी This is with insurance ना तो ये हमारा सेम रहेगा राइट दे विल बी नो चेंज इट्स द सेम विच इज वॉट विच इज योर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड विच इज द इनिशियल वेल्थ मेक इट एप्सिल्यूट एंड माइनस आपका प्रीमियम द प्रीमियम विच यू आर पेइंग राइट एंड देन वॉट विल बी योर यूटिलिटी सो योर यूटिलिटी विल बी How do we calculate the utility? It's just log of this thing. That's it, and that's how you get the answer. Okay. Any doubt in this? Huh? Because in this case, what is happening? Your with and without. I can write here with insurance. All right, clear? Because यहाँ पे wealth, if I have taken a insurance and if there is a claim, I will be getting paid that ten thousand no matter whatsoever, right? So in that case, my wealth, if I am making a claim or if I am not making a claim, will be same. Even if there is a claim, I will get back my ten thousand. and if there is no claim i have my 10000 already with me theek hai i hope there is no further doubts here next um calculate the insurer's expected utility at the end of the year under the same circumstances as part 2 um so now they want to calculate the insurer's utility not the uh policy holders so now in case of insurers in case of insurers if that you have to demarcate so let me do one thing i'll make a copy of this sheet theek hai now here the claim amount is this everything is similar in case of no insurance i am at 0% level only so i don't have to calculate these things i'll just remove this theek hai um now what we'll do 
आफ्टर इंश्योरेंस राइट सो ये लिखने का जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज फॉर एन इंश्योर यहाँ पे इन्होंने इनिशियल वेल्थ जीरो बोला है इंश्योर इनिशियल वेल्थ इज जीरो सो यूटिलिटी फंक्शन इज जीरो इफ देर इज नो इंश्योरेंस बींग टेकन आउट बट इफ देर इज एन इंश्योरेंस बींग टेकन आउट ऑब्वियसली देर विल बी टू लेवल ऑफ वेल्थ वन विल बी विथ क्लेम वन विल बी विथ क्लेम and one will be without the claim why because if there is no claim if there is no claim then obviously the level of wealth will be different for the insurer right so let's do this ta 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 so here we'll do uh, this i'll remove this i'll remove for all these different uh, levels of premium what is the wealth level if there is a claim let's suppose if there is no claim to aap ye kaise nikaloge this is very easy this is simply the premium because i am starting with a wealth of zero and i am at time zero getting a premium if there is no claim then i am not paying out anything right i am not paying out anything so this is this remains my wealth at the end as well now if i am if there is a claim which i have to pay then what is the figure which i'll be having at the end is this minus the premium that you are getting minus the amount of the loss claim amount that you are making which is fixed at 10000 so i'll make it fixed and i'll drag okay now how do you calculate the utility it is 0.001 0.001 multiplied by this this is if there is a claim which has a chance of 1% plus 90 uh no um ha 0.001 into 90 with a probability of 1 minus 1% you can make this fix theek hai and you drag so that's how you do for the insurer clear because for the insurer when you take an insurance your utility becomes certain or constant but for insurer it is not certain it depends on whether there will be a claim or not Okay, is it clear till here? Please see this. tell me vibha radhika just uh, let me know in the chat box or is it clear or not theek hai okay next one determine the range of premiums where both the customers and insurers expected utility is higher with insurance than without so what is the range of premium for which we have customers and insurance utility to be higher now how do we determine this what we can do again we can create a sheet all tm and here what we can do is we can i can just remove these these are not required i can for different levels of wealth for different levels of wealth firstly i will import a few things over here which is um if there is no insurance 
so in that case if there is no insurance then what will be the utility of customer and utility of um insurer theek hai da 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 okay now this i can take from here this is for in customer and for insurer obviously it's a zero so you can just straight away write a zero again uh, just copy pasting this and this is for with insurance this will be what i'm again taking it from this uh, place this is with insurance just increase a few decimals and drag and for insurer it's this theek hai now i will check the premium levels uh so first let's do for customer customer uh customers higher utility and same we'll do for insurer how do you do this you can use a if function theek hai or you can just uh, you just need a true or a false so this utility if this utility is higher than the no insurance utility make it absolute and drag so wherever you see that your with insurance utility is higher you will get a true theek hai um just a second and same we'll do here this needs to be greater than 0 and just make it absolute and drag so wherever you see a true is the place basically um so here see we get true for the policy holder up till this up till 138 and for the insurer we have true from 101 to end but what they want is a range of premium where both are having a utility greater than without so here both i need for both utilities utilities higher and this has to be basically whether these two are true or not so we can use a and function we can use a and function that this two and mein kya hota hai if both the uh, you know logical operations are true you will get a true if any one is false you will get a false like this so i'll drag and then for a range so you can see for this range for this entire range for this entire range of premium value we have a true figure so for a range of premiums so i can find premium range here and how we can do this we can say that if this value is equal to true then i want this premium otherwise i want a blank value so i'll drag and we can see that this from 101 up till 138 this is also includes inclusive uh, up till 138 we have a premium range starting from 101 to 138 so if you want a premium range to be put over here also how we can do that is minimum of this entire and same we'll do this to maximum theek hai na we can do this so for the premium range is this this is the premium range where you have both the utilities to be greater dekh lo is it clear okay any doubt
quickly complete this i'll just uh, get water for myself Is it clear, Vibha and Radhika? Next, they are saying to explain whether or uh, why a customer is willing to pay a premium which exceeds the expected cost of claim. So, what is the expected cost of claim? Can anyone tell me? Customer's risk utility function, uh, utility function is L and W. Okay. So, can you tell me whether the customer is risk averse or risk loving? How do you get AW is A AW is the log of uh, differentiation of this which gives you 1 by W. 1 by W meaning if your W is increasing, your AW will fall. Which means it's a risk averse utility function which is given to us and log is anyways risk uh, averse. So the customer is risk averse. And if a customer is risk averse, then they will be willing to pay more. They will be willing to pay more than the fair cost. What is the fair cost? Now, what is the expected cost of utility? Uh, expected cost of policy. Um, Nikalo, it's coming to be. So, I am willing to pay a premium of 101 to 138. But what is the expected cost? Expected cost is this 10,000 into 1% is the expected cost, which is 100. But I am willing to pay more than the fair cost. Why? Because I am, um, you know, expected cost of claim. Yeah, I guess. Um, Plus 20 into point nine. No. Uh, uh, uh. Point nine nine. Nine. This is the expected level of wealth, not cost. Cost is the expected cost is 10,000 into... 1%. So this 100 basically means that your expected cost 100 is 100. But you are willing to pay more since the loss function which is uh, the utility function which is given its risk covers. Which basically means that the customer will be willing to pay more than the fair. Whatever the fair value of the protection is which is 100. So I am willing to pay more than that. Because the customer is more uh, favoring to uh, the customer is favoring more towards the certainty. Rather than uncertainty, which is agar claim hua, 
तो वो एक बर्डन आएगा सो आई विल प्रेफर सर्टिनिटी ओवर एनी रिस्क दैट इज वाई आई विल बी विलिंग टू पे मोर ठीक है ओके दैट्स वॉट वी हैव डन ना कि हमारा जो सर्टन यूटिलिटी है उससे ज्यादा सर्टन लेवल ऑफ वेल्थ सर्टन कॉस्ट है उससे ज्यादा हम रेडी हो जाएंगे देने के लिए वी आर रिस्क कवर्स नेक्स्ट दी हैव सो आप लोग क्लियरली लिख देना ए डब्ल्यू क्या आ रहा है एंड इट्स रिस्क कवर्स कैसे है ये सब आप लोग समझा देना डिस्कस हाउ द रेंज ऑफ प्रीमियम कैलकुलेटेड इन पार्ट फोर विल चेंज विथ वेरियंग लेवल्स ऑफ कस्टमर्स इनिशियल वेल्थ सो इफ माई इनिशियल वेल्थ चेंजेस सो इफ आई एम नॉट यू डोंट हैव टू चेंज दिस सो जस्ट फॉर अ रेंज ऑफ प्रीमियम विच यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड इन पार्ट फोर विच इज दिस रेंज विल चेंज विद द वेरिंग लेवल ऑफ कस्टमर्स इनिशियल वेल्थ सो इफ आई चेंज माई इनिशियल वेल्थ दिस लेट्स जस्ट डू इट टिल ह्योर ओनली लेट्स जस्ट डू ह्योर लेट्स इंक्रीज इट टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड बट इसको एग्जाम में आप लोग फिर से ठीक कर देना इफ आई मेक इट ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड अच्छा देर इज नो लिंकिंग डन ना यहाँ पे तो लिंकिंग हमने पहले वाले शीट से करी है सो इधर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड करने से कुछ नहीं होगा I'll just go and change this then. Let's make this क्योंकि insurer को कुछ affect नहीं हो रहा है customer को affect होगा So the moment I make it ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एवरी थिंग ओवर ह्योर चेंजेस सो दाउ द वेल्थ लेवल प्रीमियम लेवल हैज डिक्रीज ऑलियर इट वॉज वन जीरो वन से वन थर्टी समथिंग है ना चलो और इंक्रीज करते हैं मेक इट थर्टी थाउजेंड इनिशियल वेल्थ अब देखो ये और कम हो गया 127 से दिस हैज गॉन डाउन टू 121 एंड इफ आई डिक्रीज इट टू 15,000 देन दिस विल इंक्रीज सो दिस इज वेरी ऑब्वियस दैट इफ आई हैव अ हायर इनिशियल वेल्थ सो देन इफ आई एम मेकिंग अ लॉस ऑफ 10,000 इन एंड आई हैव अ वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ इनिशियल वेल्थ आई मे वरी लेस अबाउट लूजिंग ऑफ टेन and so i will be willing to pay less premium but if i have less uh, initial wealth with me and i will i am so i have 15000 and there is a loss jiska 10000 ho sakta hai so i will be obviously worried more because then only i will be left with 5000 so i will be willing to pay more as a premium for certainty similarly if i have a very good usually kya hota hai ab uh, when आप इंश्योरेंस कब लेते हो सो इफ यू आर वेरी रिच वेरी वेल ऑफ तो आप यू विल बी नॉट विलिंग टू पे अ वेरी हाई प्रीमियम फॉर अ वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट बट एट द सेम टाइम इफ यू हैव लेस इनिशियल वेल्थ यू विल बी विलिंग टू पे मोर प्रीमियम फॉर दैट सेम अमाउंट ऑफ लॉस नाउ विच कॉन्सेप्ट एक्सप्लेन दिस हम वापस से एप्सल्यूट रिस्क अवर्शन ए आर ए का हम लोग डिफरेंस uh, करते हैं एंड ए ए आर ए इफ यू सी यहाँ पे हमारा वन बाई डब्ल्यू को वापस से आप वो करोगे तो आपका आएगा माइनस वन बाई डब्ल्यू स्क्वेर विच इज लेस दैन जीरो एंड इफ इट इज लेस दैन जीरो इसका क्या मतलब होता है कि लार्जर माई इनिशियल वेल्थ इज आई विल बी लेस कंसर्न अबाउट द लॉस है ना सो इसमें क्या बोलते हैं कि आई विल बी विलिंग टू पे लेस प्रीमियम If my initial wealth increases, my maximum premium will go down. But ये जो minimum premium है वो मेरा same रह रहा है. This is not changing. <coughs> Maybe because of uh, this thing, if you see my initial wealth is not changing, my initial my minimum premium amount is not changing because वो तो hundred है ना आपका cost. तो आप हंड्रेड एंड वन देने के लिए रेडी हो बिकॉज आप रिस्क कवर्स हो बट आपका मैक्सिमम प्रीमियम इज चेंजिंग इट विल बिकम मोर नैरो इफ योर इनिशियल वेल्थ इंक्रीजेस इफ योर इनिशियल वेल्थ सो आई लिंक दिस सेल आल्सो इफ माय इनिशियल वेल्थ फॉल्स देन ऑब्वियसली देखो ऐसा सिचुएशन इज अराइजिंग ठीक है गॉट इट ऑल क्लियर तो यहाँ पे आपको ए आर ए का कॉन्सेप्ट भी समझाना है डिफरेंस करके दैट इज नेगेटिव तो वो भी आपको डिक्लाइनिंग ए आर ए है वो भी समझाना है लेट्स डू द नेक्स्ट वन 
वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन इन फैक्ट बट वेरी इजी तो इससे क्या समझ में आता है कि प्रीमियम कैसे डिसाइड होता है वट प्रीमियम द पॉलिसी होल्डर इज विलिंग टू पे दैट प्रीमियम विल ऑब्वियसली बी जनरली हायर इफ इट्स रिस्क प्रीमियम हायर देन द कॉस्ट ऑफ द क्लेम एंड वॉट प्रीमियम द इंश्योर इज विलिंग टू एक्सेप्ट उन दोनों का कल्यूजन विल बी योर प्रीमियम एंड देन देर विल बी अ कॉम्पिटिशन ओवर दैट चलो नेक्स्ट एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोडक्ट अलाउज अ कस्टमर टू सेव एन अमाउंट ऑफ हंड्रेड यूरोज at the start of each year the total savings in the product earn interest at a random rate it for a period of t minus 1 to t the rate it is uh, independently normally distributed with mean 7% and ye hamara it ka distribution diya hua hai and hum start kare 100 se you have been given 100 simulations of it to ye hame diya hua hai i'll just open the question spreadsheet देखो सो फॉर हंड्रेड सिमुलेशन आई हैव ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ आई टी फॉर टेन ईयर्स बेसिकली कहां से निकालते हैं अगर आपको एग्जाम में दे वुड हैलकुलेट दिस यू वुड हैव यूज द फंक्शन नॉम इनवर्स ठीक है नॉम इनवर्स आई शो यू द फंक्शन नॉम इनवर्स प्रोबेबिलिटी इज रैंड फंक्शन आर ए एन डी जीरो मीन इज दिस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इज दिस ठीक है they have given you a fixed set of values after this total savings at time n is this an um this i think aap log ke syllabus se ab hat gaya have you guys done this vibha and radhika because uh, stochastic portion is not there uh, this part is not there in the syllabus right now so have you guys done this आप लोगों ने ए एन और ये सब करा है एस एन नहीं ना दिस इज नॉट देर इन द सिलेबस राइट नाउ आई इवन आस्क सर वंस बट आई फील दिस इज नॉट देर लॉग नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन करा है आप लोगों ने राधिका फ्रॉम इज दिस फ्रॉम चैप्टर फाइव I don't exactly remember the chapter number, but this is uh, अगर आप लोगों को याद होगा ना आप लोगों ने क्या इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉलो लॉग नॉर्मल आई क्विकली आस्क सर आई डोंट थिंक दिस इज देर एनी मोर इन दिलेबस जितना मुझे लास्ट है हाँ पास पेपर है एंड पेपर बी में तो बहुत ही प्रोमिनेंट है लाइक वन क्वेश्चन आता ही था यूजली आई जस्ट क्विकली आस्क एंड लेट यू ऑल नो 